it's an honor to be here today uh, honoring uh, Dr. Capano, who was shot in the line of duty. Actually, he was in the line of duty, he was off duty, and he uh, came in to break up a burglary and was shot in this uh, tragic ending to an heroic career. My wife and I have known John his entire life, known his family, and I see a great turnout here today dedicating this memorial to him. So, uh, again, I hope, hopefully it's a reassuring to his family, the great feeling that all of us had for John, and the great work that he did with the ATF. Welcome to everybody, the Capano family, honored guests, and VIPs. To the dedication of the ATF Senior Special Agent John F. Capano Memorial Gazebo. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation. Thank you very much. It's a uh, real privilege to be here today, uh, honoring John Capano. Uh, my wife, Rosemary, and I knew him for 40 years. In fact, uh, Rosemary taught him in school, and, uh, and somehow he survived that. Uh, but seriously, uh, John really uh, personified what law enforcement was all about. He personified what the Seaford community was all about, and the entire Capano family. Uh, his brothers, sisters, mother, father, Dory, his children, all of them really are the very best that we have to offer. And this uh, memorial to be here is a fitting tribute to John so that future generations will know uh, what he did and how he put his life on the line many occasions and then lost his life here in his own community. I want to especially thank uh, my neighbor, uh, Corey, uh, Corey Levy, who lives across the street. He usually wakes me up in the morning playing hockey and banging pucks off garbage cans. But, uh, <laughs> Uh, just a great, great young man with a great family. Uh, he's, uh, this is his Eagle Scout project. His heart and soul went into it. And he's just a great young man. Again, terrific family, mother, father, sisters. So I want to, again, thank Corey for his dedication. Thank all of you here today. Thank all the law, uh, law enforcement officials here, especially those in the ATF, who John just uh, lived and breathed for the ATF uh, almost as much as his family. And it was that type of dedication which uh, caused John to uh, die as he lived, serving his fellow man. Thank you. Thank you, Congressman. And it's fitting that we pause and remember and thank John Capano. And we remember him in this way. I want to particularly congratulate a great young man, Boy Scout, Corey, who took it upon himself to make certain it would be a permanent place where we can all come and pause and remember. I'm so proud to be here as we honor uh, the legacy of a true hero, Senior Special Agent John Capano. I want to thank Corey Levy as uh, Congressman King and County Executive Mangano did before me. He did a wonderful job uh, putting together this effort on behalf of a neighbor. A man to you, Corey Levy, the Boy Scouts of America, and this is his Eagle Project. I've gotten to know Corey very well over the uh, last half a year now, and he is a mature young man for being a high school student, and rest assured the future of this country is in good hands with him and his colleagues in the Boy Scouts. So now, my pleasure to introduce Corey Levy. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for attending this dedication to Senior Special Agent John Capano. I'd especially like to thank Congressman Peter King, Nassau County Executive Ed Mangano, Town Supervisor Kate Murray, Legislator Dave Denenberg, ATF Resident Agent in Charge Eric Immisberger, Scout Executive Jay Grace, Eric, uh, my Eagle Scout Coach Tom Cleary, a Scout Master Jim Hayden, a Troop 239, my family, my mother, father, and sisters, Corinne and Courtney, and of course the entire Capano entire family for coming. This project has been a goal of mine, and I'm very happy that I can share it with all of you and my, and my own community members in this beautiful park. Without all these people, this project wouldn't move forward to where it is today. They were instrumental in directing me to the right people to fund and construct this gazebo, so I can't thank you enough for what you've done. I used to come to this park a lot when I was younger. 
I even played T-ball on the field right over there. And I always wanted to do an Eagle Scout project here in this park. Two years ago, I thought about doing an Eagle Scout project and building a gazebo with a garden surrounding it. When I brought the idea of doing this to one of my Scoutmasters, they thought a memorial garden would also be great, and it would also be a great idea. The next question was for whom? I gave it some thought and tried to come up with a person that, from this community, that was a role model and that people look up to, and someone who is strong, brave, and would give their life for the benefit of others. The first person I thought of was John and how he lost his life defending the people of his community. People need to remember him and the service that he brought to our community of Seaford. I couldn't think of anyone else that would be a greater hero to our town than John. No matter what, now it was a matter of collecting all the funds so that I could make this memorial possible and of course special. While I was going around the neighborhood collecting donations, not one person turned me down when I asked for a donation, even if they could only give a few dollars. A man was walking his dog and the man was walking his dog and I was and he opened his wallet and handed me a fifty dollar bill and it just shows how much that they remember John Capano and what he stood for. That says a lot about who he was and everyone was willing to do whatever they could to make this project happen. After six months of getting many generous donations from everyone that helped and I finally had all the money to make this memorial possible. It shows, this shows the quickness which with people are willing to open their pockets so that, and shows how much they cared for John. I think this is an amazing addition to the park and that people will always remember John and what he did for his community. Thank you to everyone that helped me achieve the honor of creating this memorial for him. And now that I think that it is here, no one will forget the impact that John left on me and his fellow community members by making this a better place. Thank you. Now I'd like to um, unveil a rock. Um, this was generously donated and the plaque itself, so I'd like to unveil it. I think this rock really sets the tone and, and helps make this memorial what it is. And it shows that it's definitely, it could definitely show that John was definitely a great member to this community. Thank you.